I, I was in shock. I was always pretty healthy. We had uh, come to terms that it was something there. My appointment was about 8.30 in the morning and I was going in for a routine uh, mammogram. I met Erica, who was the technician that day. I lost my grandmother to breast cancer uh, about 15 years ago. She was not only my grandmother, but my best friend. I worry about um, any other, anyone's loved ones going through what my family went through. And Marcy had no problems at all. Thought she was just coming in for her annual screening. She did my mammogram, and uh, as she was looking at it, I could see something in her face. Keeping yourself pulled together a lot of times is very, very difficult when you have to look at the patient and you see what you see on that screen. When her image pulled up on to my computer screen, it was very sickening to me. Everything flashed back to, like from the day where I was taking care of my grandmother. And she said, you know what? I don't want you to leave here and have to come back. She said, let me show this to the radiologist. My heart told me, don't let this woman go. Don't let this woman leave the facility and let another day go by. In the meantime, I was waiting. She made sure that I was very comfortable. She gave me a nice, comfortable robe to wear. They offered me water and I took it. I was very dry and, and nervous. The instant that I make the picture, the radiologist can view the image. We have a group of radiologists out of Chicago that reads for us. After she talked to the radiologist and she said, well, we should get a sonogram. They wanted to make sure that they, they knew what, what they were looking at, that there was something there. I then called her family doctor. He told me that the, I could speak with a surgeon that very same day, and I was able to get uh, a core biopsy. <laughs> Suspicious. Everything that was said to me was a very suspicious tumor. I was just, you know, in April, had something done, and so I was in shock <coughs> that they were seeing something now suspicious. How could this be? You know, how could it be there this quickly? It was amazing how we were able to get everything done as quick as we did. It just seemed to go like clockwork. A lot of times those things can go on for weeks, sometimes months. And it was all done in one day. I saw Erica, she did everything she could for me there. I was able to talk to Dr. Anderson, get my results. He was able to send me to a surgeon that day, and the surgeon was able to do my biopsy. I felt like I was on fast track that whole day. <laughs> you know, a lot of big hospitals I've been to, they don't have as much time to spend um, with their patients. I was raised in the shadow of New York Hospital, a half a block away, it's a 50-story hospital. Two blocks away is Sloan Kettering. Uh, so it's not like, you know, we're not exposed to hospitals. We were, and I know what it's like to be treated in a big hospital. Sometimes you're li literally nothing more than a number. I kind of believe that if it was a larger hospital, it would have just been done routinely. My job is to take the picture, and my job is to put it in the envelope and send it or email it or however they transmit it to the radiologist. We are just trying to provide good service and trying to go that extra mile for that patient. I just feel like, you know, we live in a small town. We knew, we knew where we were moving to, and uh, we're very lucky. It seems to be very special. They seem to take it that one extra step. We're gonna be there for you in the good times and the bad, to celebrate and also to sit and cry with you. The size of the hospital doesn't really have anything to do with the, you know, the type of care that you get. It's not necessarily the hospital with all its many floors and big, you know, big, uh, operating rooms. It's the people in the hospital. I don't know how many patients time and time again. What they brag on is our quality of care. Just that, just that we care. 
that we listen, we, we take the time to stop and just listen to them and care. That's something very special that they can be proud of. That, that's the type of care that you want. And every one of the technologies here, I have seen go above and beyond time and time again. They go the extra mile. But Trigg County has some people that they can be proud of. I think. Yeah. We think. We think. Yeah.